So welcome to the next session on the classification of plant bacteria for uh, third semester classes so of the core course animal diversity chorea part one. And in this presentation, we'll be looking into in detail on uh, of, uh, order in Cosipalia and the subclass Diapsida. As we have already mentioned, all the members of the subclass Diapsida possess uh, two temporal fossa on either side, the supratemporal fossa and infratemporal fossa, and hence members of order in Cosipalia also possess the supra and infratemporal fossa on either side. The order in Cosepalia, it is represented by only a single uh, living genus that is a Sphenodon of New Zealand and they are uh, commonly called as Tuatara uh, by the native speaker. And it was formerly found throughout New Zealand but due to the advent of man and uh, domesticated animals, now it is not found in the main island but it is restricted to uh, the smaller, 32 smaller islands around New Zealand. And uh, earlier, two species were uh, recognized, that is Phenodon punctatum, which was commonly referred as Norton to Otara, and it was found all throughout the uh, major part, portion of the uh, New Zealand. Okay. Well, uh, Spinodon Gunthari, it was otherwise known as Brothers Island to Otara, uh, of uh, Northern Brother Island Cook Street, here over here in these parts. But uh, 2009 paper on the studies of uh, genetic basis used to distinguish the two species, it concluded that uh, these two species represent only the geographic variants and uh, only a single species is recognized as per the paper and that is Phenodon punctatum. And hence, the earlier called Phenodon punctatum is now re referred as Phenodon punctatum punctatum. And Spinodon guntheri is now referred as Spinodon punctatum guntheri. So only a single species uh, is uh, found or is, uh, re uh, remains under order Rinkosapari and that is Spinodon punctatum. Okay, so Spinodon is endemic to New Zealand. Now, these um, uh, Rinkosapari and the Spinodon is referred as living fossil because it has many uh, primitive characteristics of stem reptiles of the Permian period and has undergone relatively less change than most others. And uh, Spinodon is now restricted to coastal islands where it burrows into the soft soil, emerging particularly at night, so it has a nocturnal habit. And it is rigidly uh, protected by law uh, because of its endemicity, because of its uh, endangeredness. Uh, there are laws which had been imposed to protect the uh, remaining members of uh, the Sphenodon genus. Uh, it has uh, remained unchanged, the Sphenodon has remained unchanged for about 200 million years, persisting as a primitive living fossil, showing the condition of diapsids of the late uh, Permian period. Now, regarding the Sphenodon, the genus, uh, uh, this picture shows the Sphenodon and uh, the label diagram over here on the green that uh, Sphenodon inhabits uh, burrows made in the subsoil and in rocks and often is found associated with petrels and is uh, nocturnal in habit. They, they are carnivorous feeding on invertebrates uh, like uh, worms, insects, spiders, mollusks, etc. Uh, and fishes. Uh, Spinodon externally it looks like a lizard, so it's, it is a lizard like reptile, measures about 60 centimeter in length and uh, <coughs> it possesses a scaly skin and a long laterally compressed tail, then uh, four, four clawed pendadactyl uh, limbs adapted for walking and its upper surface uh, has a <coughs> granular scales, there is a median row of uh, scales forming spines. You can see over here, dorsal crest of spines continuously from head to the tail, except for a small patch of uh, um, uh, skin on the neck devoid of these spines. So here you can see that there is a median row of scales forming spines from the head to the end of the tail, except on the neck. Uh, lower surface has, uh, lower uh, skin surface has uh, when tra transverse rows of uh, large squarish plates. Uh, its color is dull olive green with white and yellow spots. Here you can see it very clearly. Okay. And its eyes are large and dark brown and the pupil is vertical just like that of the uh, lizards. 
uh, anatomical features, if you see, you can see that the endoskeleton, um, the vertebrae, it is amphicelous as against the procelous and you know, other uh, reptiles. Amphicelous in the sense the centrum of the, uh, the vertebrae uh, have concavities on either sides, that is the posterior as well as the anterior side. Uh, they also have a unique feature of uh, persistent notochord retained in the intervertebral space. That is, the, there are remnants of the notochord in the intercentral spaces of the vertebrae. Intercentral means between the centrum of adjacent vertebrae. And intercentra may be represented by bony elements formed by the ossification of ventral portions of the intervertebral discs. Uh, apart from that, chevron bones also occur in the caudal vertebrae. Uh, there is a median uh, bone, a pro atlas, intercalated between the atlas and the occipital region of the skull. Uh, it is similar to the, that found in the trochodilians. Okay, so. Uh, Usually, the first vertebrae is the atlas and the vertebral column of any, uh, or any vertebrate. So, just anterior to the atlas, there is another uh, median bone. It is a proatlas, which connects the atlas with the occipital region. So, it is the proatlas which actually articulates with the uh, occipital region of the skull. Then, ribs present uh, with all the vertebrae of the presacral region. And in sphenoidin, caudal ribs are also present, which become fused with the vertebrae. Um, the um, uncinate processes are found in the uh, uh, ribs, and that is uh, um, far, that the presence of uncinate process. It is a feature of sphenoidin and uh, even the living crocodilians. Now, uh, it do have a diapsidan skull. Diapsidan skull, in the sense, they do have. Two temporal posi, as already mentioned, and we are discussing about the subclass diapsidae. Um, so, uh, other than this, the, uh, the spinoidin forms the only tetrapod with a well developed gastralia uh, or abdominal ribs. It is These gastralia or the abdominal ribs are also found in the living crocodilians. Uh, the gastralia are rib like bones, you can see in the figure over here. So, uh, sorry. These are the uh, gastralians and uh, mark this D. So these gastralians are rib-like bones that form a cage on the underside of the uh, abdomen and it gives to arterans a hard uh, underbelly uh, covering for the abdomen as well as a support for the abdominal muscles. Now uh, you can see here the ribs are over here. The, these are the ribs and ribs are provided with uncinate processes mark the C over here. Okay, so these uh, <coughs> ribs are short and have these projections which are known as uncinate processes. So the presence of uncinate processes and well-developed gastralia is a unique feature of sphenoidin as well as crocodilians. Okay, now regarding the uh, uh, this uh, elementary canal, if we see uh, here, uh, the, does, uh, the presence of a hard palate, it is a unique feature of sphenoidin just like the uh, crocodilians. And apart from that, this is the upper jaw, and here you can see the upper jaw it is provided with two rows of teeth, a premaxillary row and a maxillary row. And the lower jaw, on the other hand, it possesses only a single row. So we can see that the uh, single row of teeth on the lower jaw, it fits in between the two upper rows of teeth and allows them to uh, actually scavenge the prey or the share the prey, slice their prey. <coughs> and uh, sphenodin do have uh, uh, acrodon type of teeth. The acrodon teeth refer to the teeth um, fixed onto the jaws. Instead of placed inside a socket, here it is fixed onto the jaws. Okay, so it is a uh, feature which is uh, different from that of the other reptilians. Uh, similar teeth is also found in the case of snakes, but the function is entirely different. Now, uh, the another important feature is the presence of a third eye or a pineal eye. The third eye, pineal eye or the parietal eye because this particular eye is present in a parietal foramen in the parietal region of the skull. There is a parietal foramen somewhere over here in the parietal region of the skull and the pineal eye is placed inside. The, uh, it is on the forehead region okay, and it is covered with a transparent scale. And this pineal eye, 
it has a lens a pigmented retina then supplied with nerve from the brain and hence it is sensitive light sensitive organ okay it is a sensory organ and uh, the, we can see a similar median eye in the lizards in some of the lizards as well but the difference is in the lizards it is not functional since they don't have any nerve supply so it is a unique feature you uh, this uh, pineal eye is a unique feature uh, in the case of sphenodon then uh, another uh, feature is regarding the uh, ears the you may have seen the uh, what called tympanic membrane on either side of the head in the case of reptiles isn't it? but here they don't have any tympanic membrane uh, visible actually tympanic membrane is there but it is being covered with a layer of skin okay so what happens is the tympanic membrane and other structures it is completely enclosed within the layer of skin and hence it is not functional in the sense it is not uh, uh, it can hear only uh, frequencies from 100 to 800 hertz apart from that the um, um, ear the middle ear bones and uh, the hair cells they are all primitive in nature unspecialized hair cells in their in the uh, ear as well as the middle ear bones are highly primitive and they are the primitive characters represented in, in the uh, sphenoid <coughs> Now, um, sphenodon it shows uh, lacertalian characters. Lacertalia means lizard characters. Okay, so uh, there are uh, the sphenodon shows many characters similar to that of uh, lizards. Uh, it also shares uh, characters with that of the crocodiles. And apart from these, they also have certain primitive characters uh, which are unique to them. Okay, lacertalian characters you can see they have a general morphology similar to that of a lizard. Uh, lizard like uh, nature, then elongated compressed tail, all those characters uh, resemble, resemble uh, to the uh, lizards. Then autotomy and tail generation. Just like lizards, they also have a, a habit of autotomy. That is, they just uh, break off their tail and then they can regenerate the last part of the tail later. So that is a, a nature which is uh, uh, similar to that of the uh, lizards. Then cloaca, it is a transverse slit. The presence of chevron bones, cartilaginous septum in intercentra of caudal vertebrae are similar to that of a lizard. Then presence of pineal eye, even though pineal eye is present, uh, but in sphenoidal it is functional, while in lizards it is non-functional because of uh, absence of any nerve supply to the pineal eye. Now regarding the crocodilian characters found in sphenoidal, they have a pro -atlas. The presence of pro atlas uh, anterior to the atlas okay it is a bony structure which articulates with the occipital region of the skull then development of hard palate the developed presence of gasphalia in the abdominal region the uncinic processes presence of um, premaxillary and maxillary teeth walls presence of chevron bones all these are crocodilian characters but still uh, the sphenodon it differs from crocodile in the these characters that is um, the sphenoidin possess ampicillus vertebrae that is they have concavities on the in the centrum on both the sides while in um, the in crocodiles they have a procellus vertebrae procellus in the sense the uh, centrum has a concavity on the anterior end while it is con uh, convexity or a protuberance on the posterior end okay so it is a procellus nature now acrodon dentition against thecodont even though both do have two rows of teeth at the upper jaw, but the dentition is acrodont in the sphenodon, as well, uh, while in the uh, crocodiles it is thecodont. Thecodont in the sense teeth are placed inside sockets on the jaws. Sphenodon has a very specific, very uh, peculiar pre chambered heart, as in the case of other reptiles, while crocodiles are a little more advanced in having a four chambered heart, completely four chambered heart. Then um, um, sphenodon doesn't have any copulatory organ, while uh, crocodilians do have. So these are the characters with which they differ. Okay. Then what are the primitive characters? Presence of infratemporal fossa. It is a very unique feature of sphenodon. It is a primitive nature of a sphenodon, not unique, obviously. Presence of hard palate, even though this character is similar to that found in the crocodilians, but it is a primitive character. Then uh, quadrate bone. You can see over here when you uh, watch this one. Here you can see the quadrate bone, but the quadrate bone it is immovably articulated uh, with the, uh, uh, the skull. Okay, and such kind of uh, jaw suspension is known as monomostylic. Then presence of chevron bones, um, elaborate abdominal ribs. Uh, these two are actually uh, similar to that of the crocodiles, but they are primitive characters. Even the uncinate processes. 
10 separate carpels, multiple number or numerous number of carpels, it is a primitive nature, it is found in goods.